Hello, Emanuel family. This is Bob uh, talking to you from our backyard here in North Delta. Uh, I would ask you today just to join me in prayer. And uh, as I was thinking about what to pray about, and I was thinking about many of the connections I've had with people I know and uh, some of the connections I've been hearing uh, as uh, Emmanuel people continue to, to connect with other Emmanuel people, which is really good to, uh, to know phone calls or uh, Zoom meetings or emails or whatever that happens to look like. Um, we are hearing, I am hearing, that, that we are much more the people I know are much more in the various states of inconvenience more than maybe um, in trouble. Um, some of us are, things have been much more inconvenient than others. Um, there's been disruption to work and how we work and where we work, um, disruptions of family, of, uh, especially for parents who need to stay home or teachers who need to try and figure out how to connect with families at home. Uh, we are disrupted in how we can visit our friends and our family. Uh, this Sunday we were supposed to have uh, Westgate Collegiate come and lead us and uh, they are not able to be here, although uh, Charlotte Siemens will be doing our message who used to work at, at uh, Westgate, so we have that going for us. Um, financially some of us uh, are having more troubles paying our bills but at this point it seems like most people at Emmanuel are doing okay uh, and if you are not or if you know someone who isn't please 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 give us a call at the office or talk to one of the deacons um, we are not being able to uh, go and visit hairdressers which is why I started off wearing this hat because Shannon pulled out a uh, a clipper and uh, put it on a setting that she thought would be okay uh, so this will be my haircut for the next little while which is fine I've done this before uh, but uh, next time maybe I see you it will have grown back into something that I tend to wear a little more frequently but as we as I was thinking about prayer I would was thinking that maybe today we needed to pray not for those who are inconvenient but are beyond inconvenient for those in our society that are most vulnerable uh, the homeless uh, the poor uh, the elderly um, and some of them we don't know and some of them we do know and some of them maybe are more vulnerable than they let on uh, so today I would just ask that you join me in praying for those that are most vulnerable in this time uh, during the pandemic. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for what we do have. We thank you that for most people I know and for myself that I am blessed beyond maybe sometimes what I complain about. Uh, that in many ways uh, this is much more of an inconvenience than, than, than a huge hardship. But Lord, today we want to lift up those who are most vulnerable in our society, for those that we know, uh, for maybe those that we don't know, um, for those that we know from an arm's length. Um, today as I was reading through Matthew 6 and I was thinking about how uh, you, your eyes are on the sparrows and you clothe the the flowers in the field um, and your eyes are on those that are most vulnerable even in this time and Lord we just want to lift uh, those up um, maybe we don't know anyone specifically but um, Lord we hear stories um, Lord would you pray we, we want to pray for those who are vulnerable and Lord we also want to pray for those who are reaching out to the vulnerable whose eyes are also on those who are in most need Lord, would you just continue to, to be with them? Um, would you open our eyes up and give us um, the courage and strength to maybe reach out to those who are vulnerable that, that, uh, that you show to us? Help us to, to reach out to those who are in most need. Be with those who are reaching out to those who are in most need. Uh, and most of all, Lord, uh, draw near to those who are in most need. Uh, in this unique season of this world, Lord, we just ask that you would, um, yeah, you would make your presence known, that you would help us to be the people who can reach out and um, and be Jesus to the to, to the least of these. Lord, we just want to pray this 
in Jesus' mighty name for many of those who do not know or do not have the strength to pray this for themselves. In Jesus' name, amen. So join us Sunday uh, for our online service. And uh, we are trying to also set up an online Zoom prayer meeting, possibly every Thursday night. We're going to try next Thursday. Uh, Gerald is doing the setting up, but uh, uh, Laura will be hosting a prayer meeting next Thursday evening at 7 on Zoom. And Joel will be getting out uh, the details to you uh, through Facebook, through email, uh, through Instagram, uh, and if somebody doesn't have that, please help connect them to, to what's going on. Um, yeah, I look forward to, to seeing you all again in person.